Welcome to this video about um, solving this past paper question involving bearings and trigonometry. And one of you asked on my website explainingmaths.com to help with this question. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if the quality is uh, fantastic, but trust me, just continue uh, looking. Uh, it will be fine, okay? You, are, you will be able to follow me. Uh, because these were the scans I was given by one of you. Uh, all credit goes to Cambridge Examinations because this is their question and we're just here to solve it. Okay, so what's going on? Even before I read it, I have a quick look. We're looking at bearings, and uh, this is a three and then a four point question. So, probably uh, a sine rule, cosine rule, things like that. The diagram shows straight roads, it says, connecting the towns A, B, C, and D. Yeah, so, we have towns A, B, C, and D, and those lines are all straight. AB is 17 kilometers, AC is 12, and CD is 10. Fantastic, that's all there. And they give you some angles, and also those angles are there. Calculate angle CAD. CAD, okay, very good. So we're looking for this angle, and I'll call it theta. There we go. Now, um, it's not a right angle triangle, so I can't use ordinary trigonometry. But I know it's opposite side, and I have a full team here, so I can use the sine rule. And for three points, actually, that's what I was expecting. I mean, it's not a rule, but most of the times, uh, yeah, that's what you'll get then. Yeah? So the sine of theta over its corresponding uh, length, so over 10, equals the sine of 95 over 12. And if you want more uh, details, more explanation about the sine rule, then make sure to check my website, explainingmaths.com where I explain this in a lot of detail. Okay, theta, I'm gonna give the entire unrounded answer first, 56.0115540844, and then I round to one decimal place. There you go, 56.1 degrees, excellent. Um, I'd like, can I take that away? No, I can't. Uh, I'd like to put it in the diagram, because you never know, perhaps I'm going to need it later on, 56.1. Moving on to part B, calculate the distance BC, and that is for four points. All right, so BC, um, let me see, BC, where's BC? There's BC, okay. So let me put an X there, because uh, that's what we're looking for, X. BC, um, okay, it's not a sine rule, because well, I have a teammate angle, but I don't have a full team here. So it is the cosine rule for four points, isn't it? Yeah, so you write down the cosine rule. So um, the cosine rule is BC squared or X squared equals 12 squared plus 17 squared minus two times 12 times 17 times the cosine of 30 degrees. Again, check my website explaining mass where I explain the cosine rule, yeah, but it is this length squared equals that length squared plus that length squared minus two times this length, that length, cosine of 30 at a corresponding angle. Okay, then you work the entire thing out. Yeah, show working at four points. So you want to show some working. Uh, say then BC, the unrounded answer, 8.9253367.03. So to three significant figures, 8.93. And also that information, I'm going to put it in my diagram because you never know, you might need it, 8.93. There we go. Okay, well, the, con the question continues. Uh, I have it here. I'll try to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, it continues. It says the bearing of D from A is 0, 4, 0. So of D from A, so indeed is 40 degrees, 0, 4, 0. Find the bearing of B from A, okay, so from A all the way towards B. So we're looking at this particular angle over here. And therefore it was useful that I put that, that number there earlier on, that, that calculated value, because the bearing is going to be 40 plus 30 plus 56.1. Show you're working there, because even if that answer is wrong, and if you show you're working, then you can get, still get full score over there. And then you're going to get 126.1, which is then 126 as a bearing, eh? a three-digit number. Uh, next question, the bearing A from B. Okay, so from B now, if I do that in blue, so from the north in a clockwise direction, we're looking at this particular angle, okay? Um, which is more than 270 degrees, that's for sure. Now, there's several ways probably uh, for you to find it. 
what do I do? I do 360 and I'm going to take away this part. Then I'll be left with the bearing. And to find the, the value of that part over there, I realized, well, these two lines are parallel. So this angle and that angle add up to 180 degrees. That's like a part of a parallelogram. If this one was 126, then this angle will be 180 minus 126, which is 54. Okay, so the bearing will be 306 degrees because it's 360 minus 54 and again this one is 54 because these two parallel lines those angles add up to 180 okay moving on now to the last question again for a lot of points four points it says angle acb is obtuse okay acb is obtuse as you can see but it's probably important that they tell me that we have to now calculate angle bcd all right, BCD, let me just try to squeeze it in for you over there. BCD, which is BCD, so we're looking at this entire angle over there. And then I can say, well, angle BCD uh, is going to be angle DCA plus angle BCA, yeah? Because it consists out of two parts, DCA, so this angle, and then I'm going to find that angle. And how can I find this angle? Well, I can look at the triangle, which is 180 degrees internal angles, take away 95, take away 56.1, and then I'll have that angle left there. And if you do that properly, um, you're going to get 28.9 degrees, okay? But now the other one, slightly more complicated. If I want to find this angle, um, I have its teammate length, and I also have a full team, look, I have an angle and the length. Again, that's why it's important to put that information, and your answers of before, in the diagram, because now I can use a sign rule, otherwise I wouldn't see that. So the sign, or I'll call it alpha, so that's the angle here, alpha, over its teammate length, equals the sign of 30 over his teammate length. 8.93 and if you do that properly if you work it out you're going to find for alpha 72.1472 however they even tell you that it is an obtuse angle and you can see it's an obtuse angle but your calculator will always give you the acute angle and then you know oh hang on a minute there is another angle which has the same sign but that one is 180 minus your answer. So 180 minus 72.14 and everything else, which is 107.8527. Okay, so that is the obtuse angle. Your calculator doesn't give it to you. You have to do 180 minus uh, your angle A, but they even tell you it's obtuse. That is for a reason. Good, that is that angle, 107 and a little bit more. So what is the total angle? You would plus the two. I get 136.75272 and a little bit more because to three significant figures that would be 100, no, uh, one decimal place because it's an angle, 100, oh my pen stops working now, 136.8 anyway, 100 and, it doesn't work anymore, what's going on, I'll write it here, 136.8 degrees, there we go. I hope that was useful, check my website explainingmaths.com uh, for all my free resources and like and share if it was useful, I do appreciate it, thank you very much, bye bye.